When it comes to winning games in Bed Wars, your decision making skills are crucial if you want to win a lot. This video will give you multiple questions and answers to pick. Just a quick little disclaimer, just because a choice worked for me does not mean it'll work for everyone else and it's mostly situational. For this first clip, I dashed onto and started breaking the yellow bed, but then the guy started fighting me so I comboed him and he died. I then finished breaking the bed and built up. Should I go back to my base or stay and try to kill him again? If you chose to stay and try to kill him again, then it was a good choice. That's because, first of all, I get rid of him as soon as possible, and second, even if I fail to kill him, I still deal damage to him, so killing him when I respawn would be another easy option. In the distance, I noticed two players fighting, and I decided to shoot an arrow to hopefully knock him to the void. Even though I hit him, he didn't fall to the void. Now, should I push them or leave them alone? If you picked to push them, then it was a better choice. That's because I have good enough loot to deal with them, and they're also distracted, so I can easily take one of their beds. Once I got there, a guy was building up, so I hit him with my bow, causing him to be chased by the other guy, and allowing me to easily take the red bed. I was fighting a guy at the middle, and he kept on building up really fast, whenever I was about to kill him. So, I stayed down and shot arrows at him. After a while, the other guy in the match shot at me. In this situation, should I build up and fight the guy, or collect emeralds for more pearls and balloons? If you pick to collect emeralds for more pearls and balloons, then it was a smarter choice, and I say that because if I were to build up, the other guy in the match might hit me with the bow, and I could die, or almost die from fall damage, and same thing goes for the guy in the sky. So I went back to the middle, and the guy ran back to a base for a chance to cash in his emeralds. But since we decided to get pearls, I pearled to him, and I didn't give him a chance to spend it. I killed him on the bridge, and eliminated him from the match. I was fighting the last blue guy at the middle, and he was running from me. He decided to jump into the void with his balloons. Should I jump down and bow him, or bow him from the top? If you chose to bow him from the top, then it was a good choice. I made a bad choice and dropped down to try to bow him, and if you don't remember from earlier, I was getting shot by his bow. So me and him were fighting a 50-50 fight, and he hit most of my balloons. So I had to use my pearl to go back to the top. I went back to restock on more balloons. Afterward, I found him at the middle building up, so I built up to him in an attempt to knock him off, which was successful, and afterwards, he accidentally took extra fall damage and died, causing me to win the match. Quick tip for you guys, do not get distracted with the chat and matches. This guy was about to break my bed, but as you can see, he was too busy typing the words, stop complaining. So he was obviously arguing with another player, which caused him to die. My advice would be to just turn your chat off so you don't need to see what people are saying. That's what I do, because unfortunately, there are some really toxic players, and they could get to your head if you let them. The only way to beat them is to ignore them. That same red guy who I killed came back to break my bed, and he saw me going to him. So he proceeded to build up for high gum. I took it as an opportunity to dash onto him, but then he unexpectedly uses Jade Hammer, causing me to go flying in the air and land, taking 40 damage in the process now take a look at my inventory and my hp let me ask you should i keep fighting or balloon away If you chose to balloon away, then it was a better choice. That's because that guy had a big advantage, especially since afterwards, I jumped with 21 HP left. I found this guy again, but he's a good player when it comes to the Jade Hammer, and he knows what he's doing. He makes himself look like an easy target because he has no armor, but don't let that fool you. Should I run and fight it with my sword or keep a distance and use my bow? If you chose to keep a distance and use the bow, it was a smarter choice. That's because it's harder for him to hit me to the sky with his jade hammer, and I was able to predict him when he tried to go for the high ground technique on me. After I dealt some good damage by keeping a distance, he knew he had no chance and started running. That's when I took my last arrow and shot him to eliminate him from the match. Now you guys can say, but Crystals, you had iron armor. He stood no chance anyway. Well, take a look at this. I was trying to play smart earlier when I had iron armor by staying indoors, but I let him launch me in the air once with jade hammer, and it brought me to 25 HP. And I almost died once again. Luckily, I had three other balloons and used them to escape. I was fighting a guy at the middle, and he was the type of player who can build fast and bait you to try to chase them since they have no armor. His entire plan is to make you chase them so that he can get emeralds. I was about to kill him, but he pearled away. I tried taking some bow shots to hopefully hit him since I know he was low. Should I collect emeralds or attack him? 
If you chose to collect emeralds, then it was a good choice. That's because chances are he's gonna buy more pearls, and by the time I reach him, he'll just pearl to the middle and get more emeralds. After a while, he pearled back, and I'm pretty sure that he bought 200 blocks. So I decided to let him keep his distance so I can keep my blocks. Unfortunately, I thought I had a chance and attacked him, and he kept on building and running and collecting emeralds while I was chasing him. His plan was working on me, and last second, he pearled back to his base to restock on wool and pearls to repeat the process. He came back, but this time, I had a diamond sword to hopefully kill him faster. He started running and building but he messed up and got suffocated in his own mess afterwards he said 87 win streak and i'm surprised on how effective this method is let me know if you want me to test it in the comment section below and also like and subscribe if you enjoy my content a player with iron armor and iron sword attacked me while i had the same armor but a diamond sword i fought this player and killed him afterwards he started running away so i attempted some far away bow shots since this player ran away i knew that he didn't have good loot so i quickly broke his bed but now should i pearl to him or get emerald at the middle instead Both choices are fine to take, but in my opinion, I would say that since the guy had bad loot, he would be easy to eliminate, so I easily pearled to him and killed him. I broke this bed and this player came to kill me. I realized that he's a free a kit, so taking multiple hits from him could potentially be dangerous since he could freeze and slow me down. Should I attack him head on or get high ground and take early bow shots? If you chose to get high ground and take early bow shots, then it was a smarter choice. You could most likely survive if you chose the other one, but personally, I feel like it's better to avoid much hits from a free kit. I was at my base, and this orange player was attempting to break my bed and kill me. He built up and got high ground. Should I let him drop on me and fight him, or take the hill there and use the dash onto him? If you chose to take the hill and use dash onto him, then it was a better choice since if I let him drop on me, he would most likely combo me using the high ground technique. But by knocking him down first, I give myself a better advantage. He tried building up, but I hit him and he started running to escape. He was approached with a wall and failed to make a wall jump, which led to his death. A player jade hammered onto my spot and started fighting me. He led me to a little bridge and hit me off. He started bridging towards me. Should I avoid him or float up and knock him off the bridge? If you chose to float and knock him off the bridge, then it was a good choice. As I floated up, I aimed at him with my cursor and I hit him off the bridge easily. In case you don't know how I was able to hit him but he couldn't hit me, was because I utilized a trick that I'm sure you all should be aware of by now. But in case you didn't know, by aiming with your cursor, you can hit enemies from farther away. I snuck behind a player and broke their bed when they were not looking. The player started coming back to the base, so I went back in the base so that I could try to knock them into the void with a bow shot, without them seeing me. I hit the shot but he didn't take enough knockback. Should I get out and get high ground to fight him? or run up to fight him without building. If you chose to get out and get high ground to fight him, then it was a good choice. Of course, both choices are fine, but since he's in an area where you can't see him yet, it could potentially be dangerous since he can quickly pounce on you before you reach him. But by getting high ground first, I was able to give myself one of the best advantages, and he easily got comboed and died. This last orange player was waiting for me to cross the bridge so he can bow me up. Should I keep bridging to him or build up then bridge over him? This one was an easy one, but if you chose to build up then bridge over him, then it was a good choice because my will would be able to block his arrow shots. I jumped and comboed him, then broke his bed. Once he spawned, I wanted to have some fun, so I decided to kill him with only my bow, and after a few shots, I won the game.